Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk all about how to style chunky boots. I received a DM asking me how I would wear chunky boots for the office and it sort of inspired this entire video because that lug sole boot is very much a trend at the moment and I thought this would be useful for those of you who are just transitioning through to spring like I am but also those who are currently heading towards autumn and winter to give you a few outfit ideas because they're all a little bit more cold weather appropriate. So there are six different outfits and they are all going to be featuring these pot and pear boots that I have. Move them over there so you can get a better look. Uh, I bought these from net a -Porter and I sized down a half size. I am going to do a corresponding blog post with all my favorite sort of chunkier style boots if you've been on the hunt for a pair. But I think also if you prefer something that doesn't have so much coverage up the leg, then a chunky loafer is also a great option and you could definitely switch out the boots for these with each of these outfits that I'm going to share. One thing I did want to mention with the sort of lug sole boot trend is that something that has a slimmer shaft is going to be easier to style in terms of proportions, but obviously it's all up to you and your personal preference. I will have everything I share with you linked down in the description box today, along with all of my sizing information too. Outfit number one is what I am currently wearing, and this is something that I would wear in more of a business casual environment. Uh, I do have on the blazer, which I have belted at the waist with a really thick belt, which you don't need to go that thick. I just love a little bit of a statement. You could do something that is slightly thinner too, like this one here from Anderson's, but I love how this creates a little bit of proportion and silhouette play in my outfit because the blazer is a bit more oversized and when you pan down to my trousers, which I'm going to have a cutaway on the side so you can get a better peek at my outfit, um, they are also a bit of a looser fit through the leg. So I kind of want to create a bit of a slimmer proportion somewhere at my body and that's a way to do it. I also find if you're wearing a crop trouser, then that's a way to show off a slimmer part of your body, especially if your chunky sole boots do have a narrower shaft, as I mentioned. What I like about this is it's essentially a monochromatic look. However, I do have a dark gray trouser on, which sort of breaks things up and creates a little bit of extra visual interest. Okay, so for outfit number two, I went with a silhouette that's a little bit more feminine. So I kind of centered it all around this black slip skirt. Now in terms of making sure that you stay warm, I would recommend a thick tight. Um, I have just worn some black socks to kind of mimic the ribbed nature of the sock effect on my boots. Um, but either or I think would be a great option. I have gone for more of a monochromatic look uh, for a column of colour down the centre and then with something else thrown over the top, a lighter colour, which is actually a really slimming effect if that's something that you are after. Now the key when you're wearing a monochromatic outfit is to look out for texture. So it's going to be really, really hard to see just from the video because it is such a dark colour, but the knit that I'm wearing has this sort of honeycomb effect to it, which is really beautiful and it's really nice and soft and snugly. It just looks really cozy, textural. Uh, in the cutaways I will show you how it looks without the trench coat on. You can sort of see it's a little bit of a slimmer silhouette and then you have that really chunky shoe on the foot. Uh, again, I talk about this a lot but it's all about balancing proportions. I don't necessarily think in this instance that you have to tuck the knit in. I actually think it looks really nice worn loose, especially because the skirt is cut on the bias, but you could tuck it in if that was something you felt a bit more comfortable with. Just to create that definition at the waist. Another alternative would be to wear that belt at the waist which I shared in the first outfit. So for my next outfit I wanted to incorporate some lighter colours because I don't think you need to just wear black boots with black outfits and light boots with light outfits. Um, so I've kind of done a little bit of a book ending here uh, with my outfit which can be a really simple tool to use when it comes to combining colour. So I have on this sort of a looser knit up top which actually is more of a heathered black so there there is a sort of lighter colored texture running throughout it. Then I have on a wide leg jean and I actually really like the way that wider leg jeans look with a chunky boot, especially like I keep referring back to this, but ones that do have a slimmer shaft because you get this really nice slim proportion around the ankles, which I think is really flattering. Um, over the top, I have worn a lighter coat, which I like because in terms of the color palettes here, it really works nicely back to the jeans. And for me, this is the kind of thing that I might wear on the weekend 
weekend, maybe if I just want to look like I haven't put any effort into my outfit, maybe it doesn't really require much effort to put this together to go out for brunch with friends. For my fourth outfit, I wanted to share how I would wear leggings with a chunky boot. So again, here it's all about balancing out proportions. And this is probably a look that you have seen before if you follow me on Instagram. I wore it when we were in Walgan Valley for my husband's birthday uh, and I have worn this <laughs> this very combination many times before because of how easy it is. So because you have such a slim element on your lower half, I think that that helps to balance out the fact that the boots are chunkier. And I think that's a really nice look. Because of that, I like to counterbalance things out by pairing it with a really big chunky knit. And I'm going to say for obvious reasons, when you are wearing leggings, ideally something that is hip length longer than your bum is ideal. Uh, you could also wear a little jacket or something like that over the top, but overall really like this. In terms of colour schematics, I have gone for a mousy brown on top and then I have gone for one block of colour on my lower half, so black and black. Next outfit is a dress and I went for one that had a slimmer fit to it just because I wanted to show you how uh, I think a dress like this can work really nicely with uh, a chunky boot. So this dress is from Lois Hazel. For me what makes it interesting is that it's a ribbed cotton so it has this nice element of texture to it. And it does come with a belt which I've worn in the cutaways and I've shown you how it looks both belted and unbelted because uh, you either have this really simple clean silhouette or else you do have something that breaks it up a little bit at the waist. Another belt alternative would be to maybe wear something like this chunky double belt that I wore for outfit number one. Um, so this is a really nice, as I said, very simple clean silhouette that is very fitted all over basically. It kind of just hugs the curves or skims over them for my lower half. Uh, and for me, it's all about where the dress Ends. So it ends, I would say, maybe three inches above my ankle. And so what that does is it allows that shaft of the boot to be visible, which I find works really nicely despite wearing such a slim dress because it does sort of trump it out a little bit towards the hemline. So you kind of have that volume there, which is then balanced out by the slim nature of the shaft of the boot. So yeah, that is this one and um, absolutely love this. Actually might be what I wear today. <laughs> Final outfit is another kind of casual weekend look. And for this outfit, I just wanted to show you how a leather trouser would work with a leather boot. Um, because sometimes I feel like you can have too much of the same texture going on. And I have to say, I really do think part of the key for this outfit for me is the fact that the boots I'm wearing do have a slightly different texture to them. It makes it feel a little bit more interesting. However, you could totally go for one that is full leather. I, I really don't think that it matters in this instance, but in order to kind of balance that out, I've gone for different textures with the other pieces that I'm wearing. So the top is kind of knitted texture, really nice and big and oversized. And I've gone for a lighter color palette up top. So balanced with light up top, dark on bottom. It really helps to uh, create a nice defining point as to where your waist is. And then the jacket that I'm wearing is a trench. So it is that sort of nylon technical fabric because it is uh, semi-water resistant. And I really, really love the way that this outfit came together. I think it's really nicely balanced. And by having the jacket on, it helps to tie everything together because just on its own, without the jacket, the knit is quite overwhelming and large. So uh, it's just one of those reminders that sometimes when it comes to building an outfit, it's that third piece that really is the thing that cinches it all together, makes it feel nice and clean and look how you expect. And so sometimes it's all about figuring out what that third piece or that third element is in your outfit in order to feel like it is balanced. So that's six different outfits wearing a chunky boot, or as I said, you could easily switch out the boots for a loafer if you prefer. I hope that you enjoyed this and got a little bit of outfit inspiration. If you have a favorite outfit, please let me know in the comment section below. I always love finding out which one you love the most. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. If you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, then I would love to have you back. Please hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.